What's going on, Legends? LGG Caden here, and I am starting a new playlist called Top 5. This episode is Top 5 Free-to-Play First-Person Shooters. And starting us off on the list as number 5 is Tribes Ascend. Tribes Ascend is a free-to-play multiplayer-only first-person shooter, and part of the Tribes franchise is developed by High res Studios and is currently available as a download from Microsoft Windows. Aspects from the previous Tribes games, such as jetpacks and skiing, are featured in the game. The game was released on April 12, 2012. On February 14, 2013, Hi-Rez released a Game of the Year edition, which unlocks all classes, weapons, equipment, and perks in a single package. As of July 2013, Hi-Rez has temp temporarily ceased further development on Tribes, ascend to focus on the upcoming titles. And honestly, this looks like a very nice and awesome first-person shooter, and um, it looks very fast, and uh, I actually was told that is one of the fastest first-person shooters out there. And uh, looks at like a great game, and uh, hope this is recommended for you. Uh, moving on to number four. Coming on number four is Soldier Front 2. Um, Soldier Front 2 is an online free-to-play first-person shooter developed by the South Korean game developer Dragonfly. By January 2006, 8 million users have been registered in South Korea alone. The game has expanded to several countries around the world since its debt in 2004 in South Korea. Dragonfly continues to expand the game around the world and plans to expand into the Middle East India and Russia market. The Indonesian version of the game was discontinued in March 2012. Soldier Front is currently being published by Area Games for North American users. In October 2009, a European server was added to this version of the game to fix latency issues with the large amount of European players. The North American version of the game has been transferred over to Area Games due to the acquisition of IJJI by Area Games. And this looks like a very good game if you are looking for uh, more military-based action games. And now we're going to be moving on to number three. Coming in at number three is Tactical Intervention. Tactical Intervention is a video game developed by Gooseman, the co-creator of Counter-Strike. It is a multiplayer first-person shooter in which a team of counter-terrorists face off against a team of terrorists. Much like its predecessor, Counter-Strike, the game features dogs, riot shields, and a, the ability to rapple. Tactical Intervention entered closed beta for North America on May 20, 2012. However, this did not result in the release of the game. OGN, OG Planet has since picked up Tactical Intervention for release in North America. The game has also since been shown at GDC 2012 in San Francisco, where Gooseman demoed the game and was interviewed by various gaming media, including Game Trailers, IGN, GameSpot, and more. Joystick launched its exclusive beta on March 4th until March 8th. OG Planet la launched the open beta from the March 14th up to the March 25th. They also revealed the game's release date as October 28th. October 8th, 2013. This looks like a very good game for number three on our list, and uh, hope you play it. And moving on to number f number two. Coming in at number two is Planet Side Two. Planet Side Two is a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online first-person shooter published by Sony Online Entertainment and released on November 20th, 2012. It is the remake of to Planet Side, which originally released in 2003. Officially announced on July 7, 2011, at the Sony fan trailer, the second installment uses a new game engine and supports hundreds of players in continuous large-scale conflict. As in the first Planet Side, Planet Side 2 chronicles the effort of the three factions 
as they fight for territorial control of the planet Araxis. Planetide 2 was announced for the upcoming PlayStation 4 video game console on June 5th, 2013. Planetside 2 is also a very fun strategy game, uh, not using bots, but real-life people, and honestly, I play it all the time, and I love this game, so I highly recommend it to you, but it does require a fairly decent PC to play during heavy battles, and it does have very beautiful uh, graphics, but you do need a very good PC to run them on very extreme settings. Otherwise, Planetside 2 looks like a very good game to come in on number 2. Now, we're going to be moving on to number 1. Coming in at number 1 is Team Fortress 2. Like its predecessors, Team Fortress 2 is focused around two opposing teams. Reliable Excavation and Demolition. Red, that's what it, that's what it stands for. Reliable Excavation and Demolition, aka R-E-D, Red. And Builders League United, a, aka Blue. Not spelled B-L-U-E, B-L-U. Competing for a combat-based principal objective, objective. Players can choose to play as one of the nine classes in these teams, each with its with his own unique strengths, weaknesses, and weapons. Although the abilities of a number of classes have changed from earlier Team Fortress incarnations, the basic elements of each class have remained, that being one primary weapon, one secondary weapon, and one melee weapon. The game was released with six official maps, although 44 extra maps, 9 arena maps, 8 King of the Hill maps, and various other map types have been included in subsequent updates. In addition, a number of community assembled maps have been released. When players join a level for the first time, an introductory video shows how to complete its objectives. During matches, the administrator, a woman voiced by Ellen McLean announces various game events over loudspeakers. The player limit is 16 on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. On the PC in 2008, Valve updated Team Fortress 2 to, th to include a server variable that allows up to 32 players. Third party modifications have made it possible to host up to 54 players on one server. Team Fortress 2 is the first of Valve's multiplayer games to provide detailed statistics for individual players. They include time spent playing as seen as each class, most points obtained, and the most captures or objectives achieved in a single life. Persistent statistics tell the player how he or she is improving in relation to these statistics. Sorry about that such as if a player comes close to his or her record for the damage inflicted in a round. Team Fortress 2 also features numerous achievements for carrying out certain tasks, such as scoring a certain number of skills, kills or completing a round within a certain time. New sets of class-specific spe achievements have been added in updates, which add new abilities and weapons to each class. Once unlocked by the player, the unlockable system has since been been expanded into random chance system where the player can also obtain the items simply by going to the game. Achievements unlocked and statistics from previously played games are displayed on the player's Steam community or Xbox Live profile page. Well guys, this has been the first episode of the top 5 free to play first person shooters. On PC of course, and, and console kind of, but this was made mostly for PC. I'm curious to know, what do you guys think is the top 5 free-to-play games? And tell me in the comments, and uh, this has been LGG Caden, see you later.